Okay, welcome to the Leopard Controls um, ECGFX programming Zero to Hero video series. In this series, we're going to be covering um, a number of different things. Um, at the end of this, you should be able to comfortably um, program DISTEC controls um, for the HVAC industry. Okay. So what are we going to be covering? Um, the, the full suite software um, that DISTEC Controls offers to configure their controllers and um, BMS systems, so building management systems. Um, but we're going to be focused in this course on the end of line devices, so the field devices. Um, this is a distributive control method where each controller in the field operates a small part of the plant um, and by doing that you don't have a single point of failure, you have multiple points of failure across across the whole system. Um, we're going to be touching on the control principles for HVAC and BMS. Um, we're going to be looking at basic, really basic network networking, IP networks, um, PC networks, and using the Express Utility software. Uh, we're going to be doing a decent amount of code in, in GFX, and this is um, not a line-based code. Um, this is a function block based or visual, visual graphics coding. Um, we're going to be building out some graphics with Envision Express. Um, so that I'm not the only person who knows how to do this. Um, we're going to be doing some uh, trending of points inside the controllers. We're going to look at setting up alarms. Um, we're going to talk about BACnet in general as a communications and how we can best interact with that and use it for the purpose of HVAC and BMS controls. Going to be networking values in between controllers because that's a big part about having a, a network is that um, controllers can exchange values and read what other controllers have inside them. We're going to be talking about the control strategies that we at Leopard Controllers use and have found best for green buildings, so reduced power consumption as well as, um, you know, optimising space, area, temperatures and comfortability for the tenants. Um, we're going to look at points lists, so the list of points, the inputs and outputs to the controllers, um, that's all the same thing. Um, we're going to touch on functional descriptions and who writes these and where they should where you should get your information um, for creating your control code. Um, and then finally, um, with some analysis using the trend log data that we previously set up. And all of this stuff is not necessarily going to be covered in this order. Um, and there might actually be other parts that get covered that I haven't listed out here. Um, it's going to be fairly detailed, fairly in depth. But by the end of it, you should be able to learn a lot and you should be confident in, um, you know, designing, controlling um, endpoint controllers for the purpose of uh, HVAC, BMS control. Okay.